So after a good night's sleep, well, kind of good, we stayed up all night watching horror movies, it is time for day two of the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. We're freaking out. We're all freaking out here in this room. We are excited to see all of you. I'm gonna be like, I'd like to thank Chris for this. Thank you, Chris. For what? You th Chris got me this, this, and this. You're the best, Chris. Chris who? Chris, cameraman. The old cameraman? Miss you, Chris. You could have been here. Look at this place. Show, man. Are you telling Andy that you don't appreciate Andy's no, work? I love Andy. Ricky. I love Andy. Andy's. Andy's good people. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Yes, I got this. Actually, I didn't even show me getting this, because it's me, I guess. Dude, I, I asked Aaron to get the camera, to be fair this time, but yeah, we were dead. Yeah, we were freaking tired. We're tired. I'm sorry. So we get straight right into things and we start game hunting right away. I think within five minutes of me walking in, I already pick up something and hey, it's from Tyler and Terry. Wow. <laughs> and by the way, I'm buying this right now. You are. Video. Look at you. Videos. It's only $5. Videos Power pack. It's a good way to lose weight and stay active. <laughs> Screw losing weight. But I am buying it for five bucks. Cinco dollars. Tyler. Oh, where'd that come from? Thank Hello to all our Retro Liberty viewers out there. Look at this promotion. Look at this. This is this is good. This is how I like it. And he said this is a heated blanket. <laughs> could be one that looks kind of wet in a way. I like it. Wake up every day feeling fresh and rested when you add the power pad bed warmer to your home. The Power Pad Bed Warmer is a bed heating system that heats your bed. Hi. <laughs> you watch it. I watch when so, I can. So it's cool. cheaper than pay TV and it's a lot better than pay TV. I can't believe you got this. Look at this. Buying hundred. So do it. So this year, Ricky decided to bring quite a bit of things to sell. Now that's good of him because he did make some money and was able to buy a lot of different things. One of the first things he sells, well, is two wood from beat em ups. Hey, I, just, I barely pulled it out and I already sold it. <laughs> awesome. How much? Enter the unique world of virtual gameplay with Nintendo Virtual Boy. The first three-dimensional stereo immersive 32-bit video game system ever. Virtual Boy is so advanced. Shit. 40. Oh, I would thought really you should have given him 30. That's kind of, I would have sold it to 30. I would have given it to him for 60. I'm sorry. I would have given you 50. Yeah. I'll give you 60. Yeah. Is it too late? 70. I'll go, I'll go 80. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't be careful what you're doing there. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> So there was a period of time where I was hanging out with a lot of different of you guys and I wanted to film some things, but I said, where's Andy? I couldn't seem to find our cameraman. I looked and looked and looked and I just kind of forgot about it until later. And when I was editing this video, I realized where he went. Andy, well played, sir. My dream has come true! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. He has uh, Buster Douglas for the Sega Master System. It's funny because a lot of these games, like, you don't think are, like, it's just like a random Wii title. It's Fritz Chess. But 
it's like it's a lot of those games you wouldn't think would be expensive, just like James Buster Douglas. It's for the Sega Master System, but it's like probably the most rare game for it. So it's always hard when you to do things like that. Like it's a sports game, like really expensive, but there are some out there. There's one on the soccer one, the 64, that's a lot too, so I don't know much about that one. It must be pretty cool. Nice, nice meeting you. Thank you. It's a tug of war. Will Ricky close the deal? Oh my gosh, bring a look. Or will it slip away? Well, so far, the day has been amazing, actually. Something I've been doing a lot is just sitting down, relaxing, and playing video games, and especially arcade and pinball, which is something I don't normally get to do that often. Now it's time for Terry. Oh, come on, Terry, do you... I'm banning him from the show. I'm not enough to hold my, tur with my turbo CD. I can't find the right plug. And I'm too scared to try anything else. Oh my god. Oh. So this year I did get to meet some new faces in the YouTube world that I have been wanting to meet and I run into two people that are extremely awesome and I highly recommend their channel along with everybody else but these two are really cool and just extremely fun people to be around. I am here with Girlfriend Versus, a channel that more people need to watch by the way because they're really funny. But how are you guys enjoying yourselves so far? I like that I have my arms around you guys. Yeah, are you guys enjoying right. yourselves so far? Yeah, very much so. It's yeah. everything you want it to be and more. It's sensory overload. I don't know what to do, where to go, I'm like, you're running into YouTubers left and right. My next question is, does my bicep feel firmer than his around your arm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Cool. But there's one bicep that feels bigger than all of us. I don't know how to take this. <laughs> If there's one thing I think we can all agree on here as retro gamers, as we always want new and fresh things in the retro world, but it's not that easy because game companies aren't really around doing that. So when I meet people that are doing new games and homebrews, it's awesome. Okay, so I was just given this, and I didn't even get your name yet. Frank. Frank. Also and Riz or Riz Tech Tech. Oh, uh, yes. And he just gave me this that I know nothing about, so you can explain okay. to everybody what this is. Uh, we got real time strategy homebrew on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, kind of kind of made loose in relation to uh, Warcraft 2. Oh, that, awesome. That sort of thing. But uh, that's something lacking in the Nintendo. Is, yes, uh, absolutely. RCS. That's awesome. But, uh, I gotta tell my brother about this. He's back at the hotel too. He's hardcore to RTS. That's what I was gonna say. Dude, I appreciate it more than I can tell you. That is amazing. Dude, that is so cool that I always appreciate hardcore people do stuff like this. Not even giving anything, I mean like making games and rebuilding NES, you know, in awesome ways. I, you know my face, and I know your face. I know your face without the shirt. So something Ricky and I will never really get used to, no matter how much it happens, is when you guys really act excited to see us. I know that makes sense to you guys, but to us, it just blows our minds. We're more excited to meet you guys most of the time because you guys are the people that keep us doing this and drive us to do these videos and go to these places and meet people. So thank you guys so much. It's like, wait, it's a video. I needed. It. I was talking about wanting to play more shooters, and he just gave me a it's freaking a, shooter. A, so this time, he just gave Ricky. Yeah, sure. yeah. What did you give him? The collection. Yeah. Mega Man X collection. X you know how Ricky is with Mega Man, so I didn't even have this. Now you do. You do have it! Thank you, sir. Thanks to Geodude. Yeah, Thank you, you do have it. Geodude. No problem. You're the dude. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Sweet. Another thing I did want to mention too is gifting. I know that's kind of a big thing in the YouTube world when you're, you know, a face in YouTube and we don't want to take it lighthearted. We really are thankful, you guys. We know what it's like to have games in your collection and just to give them away like that. It, it, it means a lot. We know where you're coming from and we really appreciate it. Hey, where's stupid Aaron? I, I've seen, I haven't seen you yet. Give me a hug. <laughs> I missed you. Are you looking for your love? All right, I'm with Truman, a friend that watches the show. And I have hey to guys. say, if you want to see the best toilet paper video, on the internet, I'll leave a link to it. That's how dedicated I am to this toilet paper video. Premier toilet paper videos, that's what I specialize in. I just have to say, I am the coolest roommate 
ever. Look what he did. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't that nice? Way to ruin our video! <laughs> Voice announcer! <laughs> Cruising! <laughs> Alright, and now I decide to head over to the Happy Console Gamer panel along with Alpha Omega Sin. It's really fun just to sit around and hang out and kind of relax while also hearing some of the thoughts and words from other experienced YouTubers. <laughs> Hi. It's going great. We're, we're watching Happy Console Gamer Panels. Am I nice and loud when I talk into this? Ricky, what are you doing? Nothing. How much is it? You got it, Ricky. 25. What are you trying to get it for? I don't know yet. I need your help. Do you have this game right here? I want it so bad. How many people have you seen have it today at the expo? No one. What? You're telling me you could be one of a kind, I, Ricky. I was sitting in the booth for a while, okay? Could be another one, but... No, I've looked around the whole place. I actually put out a, a lost sign that said, Need Japanese Top Loader Famicom. <laughs> Nothing. You're the only one, Ricky. I know. Put it down. Try me. Uh-oh. It's been here for a long time. No one's like, gotten it. I was like... Uh-oh. What's happening? Oh! To be fair, this is stuff from what I sold. So, Nicole, it's cool. You can't be mad, Nicole. He sold stuff. Drugs for this. Don't do drugs, kids. Because drugs are bad. Okay. So after Ricky gets that amazing grab, actually, good job, Ricky. I didn't really think about it till later. But we head out to go eat with a lot of you guys. It was awesome. We just invited all of you to come hang out. And after that, yeah, we head back to the arcades. Ooh, and I play one of my favorites, Mappy Land, a classic. There's no words really to explain how good it feels to play video games, so time for an epic montage. Well, it's not that epic. I just Hi. met this guy right here on the side of the street. Tell me your name. Robin. Robin. I mean, I was just walking by and I'm like, hey, look at that guy. He's a nice Coleco over there. And he ends up stopping me and tells he watched the show. So we always appreciate people that watch the show. It means a lot. So thank you, Robin. Awesome. I love Retro Liberty. Thank you so much. See, he loves us. That's, I appreciate it. Good morning. It is the next morning and this place is crowded. And I will admit, I'm tired. I stayed up really late playing arcade games by myself. I was supposed to meet someone, but they didn't show up. So sad. It's okay. But yeah, we're excited because our panel is today and we've been dying to do this. We loved the panel last year. We loved hanging out with you guys and doing the video game music challenge. It is one of our favorite things to do that we've ever done. That's something that we, or I like to say, like I probably said to a lot of you guys, is like, we're all just a bunch of nerds, we just happen to have a show about it. Like, we're no different, it's like we just, but for us it was mostly, for the game hunting, we already did it, but we saw shows like The Retro Hunters was the first one we saw where I was like, wow, these are just, yeah, we missed it. We won't bore you guys with the whole panel, we will just show you some pieces of it. Here's some of uh, the highlights, some of the ones we like. Here's one of the first ones. Computer problems though, computer problems. <laughs> Yeah. Wait. Wow. What happened? <laughs> oh, 
think I just stopped the song. A lot of you guys are doing a really good job, but we did make it a little harder than last year. We didn't just give away everything. You had to guess right, so uh, you gotta come prepared a little bit. So close. <laughs> I don't play enough Metroid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super Metroid. How do, you say, how do you say good job in Mexican? <laughs> how do you say good job in Spanish? Good job in Spanish. The end of Well. So one thing that's kind of random that I noticed at this point during the middle of it is that not a lot of people knew the Sega games. Now I know there's a lot of Nintendo fans out there and Nintendo has some really recognizable tracks, but I was a little thrown off by it. Come on Sega fans, let's go. I'm not very good at this game, so I'm just gonna guess three and then if you don't play it, it's not my fault that I lost. <laughs> is it I'll Jackal? <laughs> Pac-Man? Wait, wait. Final Fantasy. Just, just wait. Say that again. Is it Jackal? No. Is it Final Fantasy? Is it Pac-Man? Go ahead and get up here. Just because you're such a goofball, you can have a cannon. And, let me be real, that jumpsuit. I mean, come on. So with that panel ending, it's kind of bittersweet because yeah, we get to talk to you guys and have a little fun and get a little personal, but at the same time, we know our time is running short and we do have to leave soon and head home. We have a 16 hour drive home. So it's time to say goodbye to some of you guys. And uh, I hate this. It sounds dumb, but I really do hate saying goodbye. Wow, that was cheesy. What do you have to say about the trip? It's just to hear the whole trip. The whole trip. The whole trip has been absolutely amazing. Getting to hang out with all these people, getting to go to In and Out with you, getting to what? It's yeah. quiet. And it's it's loud, quiet. So oh. Come closer. To the Dude, how tired are we right now? Because of how so exhaustingly, tired. exhaustingly awesome this entire thing has been. I actually kind of look forward to going home to Australia and getting into my bed. Wow. You know what I don't look forward to? What? So hey! Wow, look, Aaron's filming us. Hi! Oh Hi, god! Aaron. I like the so good. I love you holding you. Oh gosh! We want to take you to our games rooms. In our games rooms. Oh. I don't know. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. Yeah, I man hug. Wow. Uh, uh, who's your, was that your Robbie? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Is your oh, gun yeah. digging into my hip? That's not my gun. <laughs> <laughs> not my gun. Goodbye. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. You have been the one. I'm gonna miss you know, him. I'm actually dead serious, so I'm about to say this. It was like a very embrace. It, it like felt good just now when I hugged you guys. <laughs> it was like just there, wasn't it? No, I'm it being like serious. Juicy. You know, hug people and it's like, oh, see ya, but that was like, it, I like felt comfortable it felt and warm. True embrace? Yeah, I like felt comfy. It was a family hug. It was, I really was embraced. Thank you. You're just gonna do that to me. No. It just felt. I was too new. It yeah. felt nice. This is the father style. <laughs> He's a lot more firm, too. I'm comfy. I'm comfy. <laughs> I'm a comfy hug. I get it. it was We're hard. all comfy hugs. Stomach right here, man. All right here. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Did you enjoy your episode on the Game Chasers this today? On the Game Chasers? Yeah, I loved. Am I on the Game Chasers? Sure. Yeah. Wow. I love. I love Billy and Jay. Billy over here. Jay over here. You know, it's awesome. So until next time. Okay. Adios. Now this is the worst part of the trip, hands down. We honestly all hate leaving. It's kind of a weird feeling thinking to ourselves that, hey, we're not gonna see a lot of these people for a year. Some of these people came from a really long distance just to get here, and we're not even sure if we'll ever see them again. But it's okay, we're gonna head home happy and leave with some amazing memories, and memories we'll never ever forget. Especially Terry with his shirt off all the time. But thanks again so much. This was just perfect in every single way. Adam, how do you feel about this trip? On your wedding day! Huh. I feel amazing. It was great. A lot of fun. I slept for the last hour though. Sorry. <laughs> that bit. Andy, how do you feel? How was filming? Andy, you signed an autograph. It's pretty good, I know. I, I was kind of a big deal how now. Was it? it was good. Look at this. Look at this. That's so some good stuff right there. And there's other stuff, I just... There you go. Dude, it was so much fun though. And really, it, it was about hanging out. Aha, so it's true. It's not about the games. 
It's about the friendship. We're leaving. Games are a bonus. Goodbye. Bye. It's over. I'm tired. We gotta drive 16 hours. This part sucks. I hate this part. I think it ruined everything for me. I was like tired the whole trip. It was worth it. It was more than worth it. It was so fun. It was worth it just to see Andy. <laughs> So as we were driving home, we all were talking and we thought to ourselves, you know, we need to give one last final thank you to you guys for everything you've ever done for us here in this channel and bringing us this far and making us make these memories that we have and that we love and that we cherish. And thank you to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. This is by far, hands down, our most favorite convention, expo, whatever you want to call it, that we've ever been to. We love it so much. But until next time, you guys, we'll catch you again here soon on the NES Pursuit. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the Game Chasers here, and uh, we hope to see you guys next and, time. And as always, thanks for, for watching. watching.